Okay, back to the uh, Apache web server um, uh, tutorial system here. I wanted to talk about some other issues that we went over in class. Uh, one of the things that we went over, I'm going to um, control out of here, I'm using VirtualBox, is we went over how to, um, uh, let's see here, we went over how to set up a domain name. So, um, and there's a lot of places you can do it. One of the most popular places to do it is through register.com. Uh, I've used them, they're fine, but there are cheaper places uh, or less expensive places that you can use. One of the ones that I've been using is um, namecheap.com and at namecheap.com you can buy domain names for under ten dollars. You can search for the domain name that you want. If it's available you can um, uh, register it, purchase it here for under ten dollars. Okay, so um, I'm gonna uh, log in really here and show you really quickly. I'm not sure if this is the right login. Let's see. Okay, I'm in. So I've logged in here, and then you have tools that you can use to um, point your domain names different places. You can um, move your domain name to a uh, web host if you have a web host like GoDaddy or something like that or you could have Namecheap do your hosting and you could keep your domain there. As you can see I have uh, four domains here and then I uh, can uh, basically um, uh, click on one of the domains here they are there's the four domains I can click on one and then I can edit the domain now a lot of my personal information will show up so I don't want to put that out on the web but um, what you can do is like for this domain uh, uh, dancegames.com I pointed it to the IP address of my um, of a home server and I'll show you that right now okay so um, I'm going to slide this over. Uh, you can see here that if you wanted to do that, what you do is you click on your domain, and then um, over here on the left-hand side are your tools. You just click on all host records, and then what you can do is you can set the A record to point to an uh, address, an IP address. Or you could um, transfer your DNS to a web host. Like if you have a, a web host like GoDaddy, you could point your domain to their DNS servers, and then GoDaddy would be able to handle the DNS for that domain name. So anyway, uh, that's how you do it. It's actually pretty easy. And if you have a hard time with it, you can just call them on the phone or, or you could click on help and you can get some help on that. Okay, so that's no problem. Um, I'm going to close out of there. All right, so that's about domain names. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up two uh, virtual host domains at my house and then I'm going to um, set up uh, some um, some type of uh, redirection at my router at my house so that when uh, you go to dansgames.com or some other subdomain or additional domain you'll go to that website on my Apache server so that specific website so just what we're doing here too now um, a couple of other things here I'm going to show you uh, some things I learned in VirtualBox if you go to VirtualBox what you can do is you can um, go to details you will see here and click on network and you can change so that your network um, is uh, using your NIC instead of um, uh, NATing. By default VirtualBox uses a system of NATing where it will take um, your computer's uh, network interface and it will set up a uh, network address translation that will translate like a router into the virtual box so it'll basically route in uh, data to and from your virtual box through the process of uh, private addresses and you can turn that off by going here into virtual box and working with your um, and setting up uh, different settings for your network so let's see if we can do that right now what I'll do is I'll shut this down um, and then we can try to do that. So I'll shut down this and I'll show you how that I did that. Okay. So that's shutting down and closing VirtualBox out there. And now what I should be able to do is get in here and work with uh, and set these networks. Now, machine. 
So I think I have to be closed out of VirtualBox first to have access to this. So I'm waiting for it to close. And then I should be able to edit this. Okay, it's shutting down. All right, Fedora is shutting down. All right, it's shut down. Now I can access these settings. So I click on Network. And you can see here, Enable Network Adapter. What I changed was this from um, uh, from NAT or not attached to host interface okay and then I set it to either I have two NICs I have a wireless NIC and I have a Ethernet uh, regular NIC and so I just set it to one of those NICs right and um, now I'm all set right and this Ethernet 1 is set to my uh, gigabit controller right and then adapter 2 I clicked enable network adapter host to interface I set it to host interface right and hopefully I sent it to the other one the wireless one and let's see here I believe that's the one uh, PCI 2 I'm guessing wireless that that's it should be set to the wireless I'm not sure exactly but um, anyway that's that's what I, I think I did and uh, no so uh, one is set to the Broadcom and two is set to wireless and you click OK and then now it should allow traffic to go right through your network cards right into your um, virtual box Linux host and so I could fire that up and try it and another thing that um, we did was to go to full screen mode we did a uh, right control button F and it's switch and that goes to like a full screen mode a much bigger um, area for you to work with. And you go to machine, adjust window size, full screen mode, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I just lost Internet Explorer, but I think I'm all good. When this comes online, my network cards should be good, and I should be able to have internet access through VirtualBox. Basically, route info.